Okay, so the trick to doing a gusset on a square corner, very similar to this bag here, is you need to make a small relief cut at the point of turn for the fabric inside the seam allowance. Don't clip your seam line. With this small relief cut, this panel can now make a nice clean 90 degree turn without any ripples. Before most projects, I'll set up a seam guide. And this is, this piece of tape is set off from the needle by the seam allowance, so 3 eighths of an inch. As you see, I have two marks on here. The first is the needle location. The second is just the seam allowance down from that needle location. This bottom mark helps me know when to stop sewing so that I don't creep into a seam allowance for the turn, which I'll show you here in a second. Here in this example, I have right sides together, my gusset and my back panel, and I've made my relief cut where I'm gonna make my turn. So I align that notch with the two seam allowance intersections of the back panel. Where my relief cut lands, once my needle gets to that position, I'm gonna stop and form my turn. Now with the needle down, I can lift the material, I can make the turn, fold all the excess out of the way, and continue down the side. As you can see, I came across the top, I got to the, the relief cut, and I made my turn. And when I flip this right side out, I'll have a nice straight corner Nice clean corner there with a crisp seam and no ripples. Similarly, for doing a tight turn, as on my everyday fanny pack, when you go to start bending your gusset around that curve, the simple trick is to put a couple relief cuts in this fabric, again, staying away from your seam line, but space them out every half inch or so to where you get a nice bend along this fabric. With those little relief cuts, Staying away from the seam line, you'll be able to bend this fabric around this turn much easier. When preparing to sew a tight curve, I always make the panel that I'm gonna be bending the one on the top. So when I'm doing this curve, I'm gonna watch for a couple things. One is that the bottom panel is always at the seam allowance where the needle is hitting. So that's my first markup here, and I'm making sure the panel follows that seam guide right at that location. And then the other thing I'm gonna watch is to make sure that the seam allowance for the panel that's bending is right on top of the bottom panel as I go around. I don't want these seam allowances to be off. Now you want your stitch length to be quite short for this, likely between a two and a three millimeter stitch length. I'm gonna make short little stitch lines and then I'm gonna stop with a needle down so I can rotate the panel. So once the material on the top starts to kind of bunch up, you just stop with a needle down and start smoothing it back out. And because you're kind of doing this on a bias, most material will smooth out fairly well and you won't get ripples. So with relief cuts and precise sewing, you avoid ripples for a smooth curve. When flipped right side out, the result is a nice, even, and consistent curve. If you enjoyed this video or any other YouTube video, be kind and give it a like.